Here we have the farm and biplane of 1909. A front elevator as used by the Wright brothers as well. Uh, it, was, it was still considered necessary back then. Uh, wicker basket for seat and so on. You see the radial engine. So on, lots of wire, like linen fabric. So on, the tail is also interesting, a box style tail. No elevator in the tail. And then we go to the next step. First World War level aircraft. Still mixed construction fabric and so on. Uh, biplane, but a lot less wires, only a single bay. Uh, single cross of wires in the wing. Uh, straight six engine, still fixed undercarriage, but no front elevator anymore, just a regular tail. Mm, a lot faster plane. There's a glider. Then we get to the Second World War, so Henkel 111 from the 30s. Or it's actually a Spanish version with Merlin engines anyway. Aluminium monocoque construction. Uh, internal bomb bay, uh, really uh, top technology of its time, defensive armament, so on, quite fast, twin engines. And then, late Second World War, we have the Fokker Wolf 190 radial engine, wide undercarriage, Heavy armament, very fast and smooth. Mm -hmm. Over there at the top, we see the V1 with the pulse jet engine unmanned. Basically, a uh, first missile. Then we have the Messerschmitt 163, uh, a rocket interceptor, very short range. Here we have its rocket engine. I think it was using hydrogen peroxide. I don't remember what it was the what was the other what was the fuel dangerous machine. Uh, that was the Second World War. Then we have the turbine and the submarine warfare machine here. Here we have now finally the jet age since the fifties. MiG-15 from the USSR and the F-86 Sabre from the USA. This one is from East Germany and this one is from West Germany. Of course, you would see the three cannons here. They still use the primitive turbojet engines. Mm. And then finally, finally we have the MiG-29 high maneuverability, high angle of attack, uh, lots of different missiles, so on, Mach 2 capable, twin tail, twin engine, turbofan engines. Mm. And also here we see kind of a dead end. Uh, so this came around in the 80s. Uh, Panavia Tornado, European machine, uh, with a variable wing. This was a big fad in the 60s and 70s, but was abandoned later. So the MiG actually has really good performance with the fixed wing. You don't need variable wings anymore that much. Tornado was able to look also run at fast speed at low level with the wing swept. So it was a bomber basically, mostly a fighter bomber. Uh, yes. That's the evolution of air aircraft in short, from the bamboo and wire to the to the First World War planes, and then to the Second World War, and then to the turbines and early jets, and then to the turbofans. That's basically it.